Look at, look at that face. Whatever she has on, I'll buy it. Strictly because of her skin, y'all. All right, just keep watching the video because I feel like my skin looks like hers. Yes. What's good, YouTube? Brianna Loren here. I got a box. It is Sweet July. I think I felt inclined to order this because my birthday is in July. The brand is called Sweet July. And I just wanted to try Aisha Curry skincare. We're gonna open it together. I'm gonna give you my first impressions because you could trust me. And we're just gonna open it, talk about it, see what it's really about, and kind of just figure out, is it good? So if you're interested in Sweet July, you weren't sure if you wanted to purchase it, I purchased it for you, for us, okay? So if you wanna see this unboxing, hear my first impressions, keep on watching. We got the box. So I went to her Sweet July page, ordered everything through Instagram, and somehow like, the communications, the lines got crossed because I was supposed to get this a little while back. And we're getting it now, but that's all right. I will take it. They were really good with communication in terms of just reaching out and saying, hey, your package is delayed. We want to make sure we have your right address and everything. We're going to get that out to you as soon as possible. So I was thankful for that because I was kind of like, mm, where's my stuff? But it is here. So I did order the tumbler. Also too, I'm just very curious, like new brands and their packaging. I wanna see like how they're doing their things. So this is the inside of the box. You got that cute little Sweet July. Look at that. So cute. This is, this is not as snug as I would want it to be, but super cute. This looks like it's maybe like, what, 16 ounces or something like that the little thing to clean your straw. Thank you because these are important. Okay, if I can't get in there and clean what's in here, we got a problem. Yeah, I think this was about $20, $24, but super cute set. I, mean, I like brands that come out with like cute merch stuff because I can put anything in here, tag them, share, and then, you know, maybe we'll get on the PR. Who knows? This, this is what we're all waiting for. Look, look at this. Aisha, she's stunning. This is what the packaging looks like for the skincare set. On the back, it shows you the Pava Exfoliating Cleanser, Pava Tona, and the Airy Power Face Oil, okay? This whole line was supposed to be inspired by her heritage and her Caribbean roots, and how there are just so many awesome ingredients from where she comes from what the inside looks like this says an island vacation for your skin and then you have your three products here this right here was 120 really think we're paying for this box it's pretty heavy but there is like no insert of like ingredients and things like that I was thinking there was something behind here but I can't you can't take this so this is pretty hefty. It's almost like you paid for the PR box. Let's let's go there. So you paid 120, you got the box, you got the packaging, you got Aisha, okay? Right now, my skin has just a makeup from today on. So we're gonna get into everything. I'm gonna try everything, give you my honest opinion of just how everything feels. And we'll talk about ingredients too. I'm gonna pull it up on here because again, we didn't get an information insert. And that's probably the only thing for me, like as someone who gets PR and always is getting packages, like give me a little insert about each product. Like don't make me have to pull it up and find out what it is myself. That's just me. Sweet July Exfoliating Cleanser. This cleanser retails for $39 and it is 5.6 ounces. It is a nod to the nutrient rich blend of papaya and guava extracts. This creamy and gentle exfoliating cleanser effectively removes makeup, reveals soft skin, refreshed complexion without stripping your skin of the hydration. A unique combination of lychee seed powder and mint leaves the skin feels invigorating post wash. It does have these exfoliating beads in it. So, oh, you, okay, you can really smell the mint in this. And I like that. I like the 
exfoliating beads you would call this a physical exfoliating cleanser because the beads are in here giving you a little bit of exfoliation, getting rid of any dead skin. The scent of this is really nice. If you don't like mint, this might be a little bit too much. Just adding a little bit more water. Okay, this feels really, really good on the skin. Do you get that almost like menthol-y, tingly feel while you're using this? It's something about skincare products that when you feel certain sensations, it makes you feel like, oh, this is actually working. Okay, so I'm using just my face off cleanser pad. And we're just gonna take the day off. Definitely makes the skin feel very fresh, tingly a little bit with that mint. Yeah, I can definitely feel that like refreshing feeling on my skin. That mint is coming through very strong and it broke down my makeup really well. Okay, one thing I can feel with the mint from the cleanser, I would not use this to take my eye makeup off because it's a little, it's a little strong around the eyes. Use just a regular, cleanser for my eyes or just like a makeup wipe um, just to take that off and then use the cleanser just for my face because god forbid you get this in the eye like it could be a whole hot mess yeah after like that my skin feels very soft very supple not that dry at all the mint that mint <laughs> i can still feel that and I don't mind it because it does feel very refreshing on the skin and gives your skin a little like, your skin is going through a little bit of like a facial kind of feeling from that mint. But yeah, skin feels very, very soft. So I'm not mad at that. Again though, my thought process is would I wanna use that every day? Would I want that minty feeling every day? I'm not sure, okay? Into the Pava toner y'all all right so this retails for $32 you're getting 5.1 ounces in here this helps reveal smoother skin with a uniquely formulated blend of papaya guava and glycolic acid okay I'm going to use some of my reusable rounds with this she does sell reusable rounds but I already had some so I'm gonna need that oh, some toners right just add hydration back into the skin this one because it has the glycolic in it it is going to help resurface and get rid of dead skin so sometimes for my skin I know that glycolic every day is not for me so I would probably you know go back and forth with this toner and then my Dr. Sturm toner because this is just straight up hyaluronic and personally so this is really just like a balancing toner this pava toner here you're going to get some resurfacing removal of dead skin smoothing texture so yeah some people can do a glycolic toner every day i just know my skin my skin says hey give that to me every two to three days and we'll work well together not much of a fragrance i definitely can smell the glycolic like if you use glycolic or AHAs, BHAs, like you know what that smell is. So other than that, but very gentle, no burning or tingling sensation with this at all. And I'm glad she did that because after using the cleanser, which gives you that fresh, minty, tingling feeling, this is really nice just to balance the skin and we don't need any type of um, sensation with this. So I'm glad that that doesn't have a sensation but yeah very lightweight not as hydrating the toner as I would like it to be but the skin does feel good my skin doesn't feel dry but again I'm combination oily so someone who is a little bit more normal to dry um you might want a little bit more hydration and lastly we have the Irie power face oil okay this oil retails for 
dollars. If you didn't know what IRE means, it means everything is well, everything is all good. Clarifying face oil enriched with a powerful trio. This has salicylic acid, neem seed, and turmeric root packed with omega-3 fatty acids, vitamins, antioxidants. It's a fast absorbing oil that provides radiant glow. Let's go back to ingredients real quick. In the cleanser, we have papaya, guava, lychee seeds, and mint. The toner, we've got glycolic, papaya and guava, and now we've got salicylic along with neem seed and turmeric root. So this is definitely, I would say this line is more geared to normal to combination oily skin and maybe even acne prone too with the acids in there. So know that from the rip, you know, this does have some strong acids in it. So you wanna make sure your skin's okay with it. You might wanna ease into some of these products too, just to make sure you don't strip the skin too much or, you know, you just wanna make sure your skin does well with it you know your skin responds well to it do have a little bit of scent in here it smells good can't really say to like what it smells like but I have smelt it before the best thing about oil you want something that's not super thick and this is definitely a, of a thinner consistency I would say half not even half a pipette like you you don't need that much feels actually very very good i haven't used the oil as a moisturizer in a very long time too so her kind of bringing that back and reintroducing that for some people because most people are like oh i can't do oil i have oily skin um how will my makeup wear over top of this um will it cause me to have more oily skin but what most people don't know is when you use an oil it does help control um, your sebum glands and how much oil those glands produce. So yeah, if you're oily skin, then oil is actually your friend. I will say after using the cleanser and the toner, the oil feels really good on my skin. <laughs> really, really hydrating. It's soaking right into my skin too, but I like that, you know, there's still a little bit of a nice comfort and cushion to the skin. Yeah, that feels really, really nice. I am a little curious just to see how like foundation sits on top of this. So I'm gonna do a little bit of just my Makeup by Mario uh, Surreal Skin Foundation. And I'm just gonna do it right over top of the oil and just see how, yeah, that's, you see that? This is like a really good test too because some people don't use primer lately i have not been using primer and you kind of just want to see like okay how does this glide and the skin is definitely really really smooth after using all of her products that just blended <laughs> real real beautiful look look at my skin no skipping most people don't know to like an oil underneath foundation prepping the skin on most people is going to help it just blend super smooth. So um, that gets a 10 out of 10 for how my foundation just literally glided onto my skin. <laughs> okay y'all, initial first impressions, she gets a solid A. Like, for how my skin feels right now, how my foundation just applied so smoothly, like I look like I have no texture. She gets a solid A for that. I wish there would have been an insert, like a little booklet, like buying the kit, you basically save about $11 rather than buying everything individually. So for that, and you know, it coming like a PR box, all I would have wanted was like an insert, a pamphlet, just to be able to like read everything, all the ingredients off the rip. The tumbler gets a gets an A plus. Okay. The way it came packaged, it was protected. You gave me the thing to clean my straw. I will be using this every day. Okay. Right now, first impressions, I can honestly say my skin feels really rejuvenated, really invigorated, almost like 
I did just go through a facial routine from all of those products which I like a lot. Yeah, I do think that my skin went through a really nice facial routine, especially after using the cleanser. The cleanser felt really good. Like right now my skin is settling and I'm like, okay, yeah, my skin does feel like I just had a facial, which is nice because most skincare products don't do that. So I do like that in terms of the simulation that you get from the product, especially the cleanser. You guys know I like my Dr. Sturm, you know I like my Summer Fridays, so right now with how my skin is feeling, I'm like, oh yeah, I'll keep using this. Cause some products you use right away, you're just like, nah, this ain't it. But my skin looks real good, like real, real good. So Aisha, you did your thing. Her skin looks beautiful. I'm about to go for a walk, get my steps in, but thank you guys for watching. Make sure to thumbs this video up. Comment below, make sure to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you do not miss a video with me. And I will see you in my next one. Peace out, Good Scouts.